So here is an example of liquid, and for taste, it's one of my favorite liquids, honey. Now, you can see, if I turn this around like that, that the honey is in a liquid form, and if I tip it, it flows around in the container, but it always flows in a particular way. So in other words, it flows to the bottom of the container. That's because the liquid molecules are being acted upon by the force of gravity. So gravity is pulling that liquid down towards the bottom of the container and it is taking on the shape of the container. So here we see an example of liquid molecules not holding their own shape. Remember we talked about solids hold their own shape because the molecules are locked. The molecules of a liquid are not locked in place, allowing it to flow and allowing it to take on the shape of whatever container it is in. Okay, so I've moved over here for a little bit to do some more demonstrations with liquids and I've got my liquid here. Very important liquid, water, important to all life on Earth. And as I allow the water to flow, not pour, from one container to the other, you can see that it changes its shape slightly, taking on the shape of the container. Now, to further demonstrate the concept of flow, I'm going to use this jug of water, and I'm also going to use this blue food colouring. So adding the blue food colouring to the water. Plop. And we can see that that food colouring, as it is being added, is moving around inside the container. It is not staying in one spot. It is swirling about. It is changing its position. This is because the molecules of water in the container are actually constantly changing position. And as they move around amongst each other, they are taking the blue food colouring with them. So this is a very good example of how molecules in a liquid are not locked in place.